So hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I would do if I had to rebuild my Instagram account. Now, if you are new, let me give you a brief story. My first Instagram account that had grown to, I think, close to 20,000 uh, followers was hacked six months ago and I basically lost everything. I did film some content kind of sharing what happened. Um, so go down below, I'm gonna link it so you can go and have a look at that if you wanna hear that story. Um, but six months ago, I basically started a new account and now we are just after six months, we are basically on 11,000 and we've even made way more money than we did with that big account and we've productized a bit more. Just a lot of things that I'll be sharing with you, but this Instagram account, as much as it's not as big as the previous one, it's really done more for me and my business. And and I've been thinking at what did I actually do right and what would I do differently. So I want to use this video to share with you those things because like I always say, you can take them, personalize them for what it is that you're trying to build and actually use the same strategy for your Instagram account so that you can start building. Yeah, so let's get started. The first thing that I would do if I was rebuilding my Instagram account is I would frame my content a lot more. So I talk a lot about this on my Instagram, but basically framing is kind of creating a frame around what it is that I do and who I am. So I would showcase in every single piece of content what I want people to see me as. So if I want to be the CEO, the boss babe, the balanced mom, whatever the case is, I would then center my content around that so people get an idea of what to expect around me. The important thing about framing is that it helps people kind of remember you because that's how you are always going to show up. So for instance, um, people that normally are a stylist on Instagram have a specific framing because you know that they have a specific style that they share and that they talk about versus them just being generic person that styles everything but they will be more like a vintage person that styles. so you know that every single time they shoot a video it is basically styled a certain way a second thing around this concept about framing is also using the same background over and over again very very important because it helps people recognize you and they know you more and these are small little mental cues that help you with the framing but they are so important the other thing when framing is concerned also is be the way that you speak the way that you introduce your videos just the way you do things to remain the same for a very long time so that people always know that this is what they can expect. That becomes so, so, so important to do. The second thing that I would do if I was rebuilding my account is post regularly. And by regularly, I mean post twice a day for seven days a week. This is basically what I did with this new account and I think part of the reason why it grew so much over a short space period of time. However, it is important for you to still continue to do that because what a lot of people do is they will post consistently until they hit the 10k mark and then they slack and then the account basically does not grow and it just remains stagnant. So it's important that when you start doing it, but you do you do it regular enough because the thing about um, social media is that the success is compounding. So you will like not be getting any traction, but when you start getting traction, it's so fast. Like once you hit 10K, you start moving like 11K the next week. And if you consistently become more consistent, you went 12K the other week and you're moving within the numbers. And you want to make sure that that is something that you're consistently doing so you can gain more followers every single day. Yeah, super, super, super important. The third thing, something I also spoke about in the previous podcast episode is I would give more frequent um, free education around the niche or around something that I eventually want to sell people to. This is something that I did not do with the previous accounts that got stolen and what then made it difficult for me to rebuild that account or to maybe kind of start over was that I felt like I'd lost a big audience but in essence I did lose a big audience but an audience I would not have been able to monetize from because I wasn't framing and also because I was not giving enough free education to essentially productize to the level I'm productizing right now so it's very important to give free education from the onset what that does it helps people trust you a lot more it makes you a lot more credible and it just increases your thought leadership in the industry and imagine if you're giving people free education for like a year or two by the time you eventually come up with the course come up with something that people are interested in they are going to buy and they're going to buy it because they trust you enough to know that you are the right person for this thing that you are essentially now giving them so it's important free education 100 super important the fourth thing is i would start building a mailing list this I cannot even begin to explain to you how important this thing is. I would start building a mailing, mailing list from the get go because should anything happen to Instagram or whatever the case is, I would still have a huge percentage of those people on a mailing list, which is something that I thankfully have right now because I started building one literally a few weeks after restarting um, the new account. But I would build a mailing list. What's also nice and what I've realized a lot is that the mailing list definitely helps you convert. It definitely helps you get more people to buy because it's much more intimate. You can refer to people with their names. You can build more relationships. People 
can respond intimately people can write long letters to you and when you've got the capacity you can respond but it is such an amazing relationship builder so that's something that i would do if i'm starting from scratch it's just as the numbers are low start building that mailing list immediately the fifth thing is stories stories are so powerful in terms of engagement if you're somebody that's been on instagram for a while you actually know that stories get more views and more interaction than your actual posts do it's just that the stories don't live long enough but they obviously have a lifespan of 24 hours but you get more engagement and you get more viewership there so i would put more and more and more energy on my stories which is definitely something that i'm doing right now if you follow me on instagram you already know that this is something i'm like running to get done being on my stories so so important so i'd definitely be on my stories more if i was restarting my account because what it does it then nurtures the people that i have right now and what i've also seen really work with stories is that i will do stories now and my current audience will engage with it and they love it and then it actually encourages them to engage within my um content that is on my feed because essentially that content that is on the feed usually corresponds with what i'm putting on my stories so it kind of becomes a continuation of that communication that i'm having with uh, my audience which is essentially increases my views and my comments within my Instagram page and then grows my account and essentially the algorithm will kind of figure out that okay she's somebody that a lot of people want to hear from a lot of people are engaging so we want to put her content further so very 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 important the sixth and the last thing that I would do is productize sooner a lot of times we just want to build a brand that people know so that people know that we thought leaders but after they know that you're a thought leader they're not you must productize you must productize as early as you can and normally i would have a strategy to productization so my simple strategy to productization would be you first productize by something that is so simple so for instance if you want to be a thought leader in the finance industry and your account is so small and you're growing what i would start doing is i would start having let's say bi-monthly master classes that are free for now but that is a way of inserting into people's minds that i'm eventually going to productize but i want to give you this free value over and above the free content that you're already getting on my page and then after you've done that let's say in like six months or so you then say now i'm going to have a workshop then you make the workshop paid but because you're still small and you're starting out maybe you want to make the workshop paid um from like just a kind of low um amount especially if you've got a full-time job and you're doing it as a side hustle and you've got other means of income you really just want to make it a bit of an entry level to get people interested in your paid products and then from there you get to build and build and build and build as you increase in value as your brand grows and as your prices continue to go high so if i had to really do something from the beginning of building my page i would definitely productize sooner and again something that we did with the new page that i started is that i started productizing a lot more sooner and getting people to buy from me getting people to consult with me getting people to kind of start working with me but from a monetary perspective and that's essentially how the business is also growing so that's something that i would definitely do so the six things that i'm giving you are things that i know you can definitely apply right now but the important thing of all of these things is consistency and application a lot of people watch youtube videos this is probably not the first video you've watched telling you to do something like this there's a lot more that you probably have watched but what's going to make a difference is your ability to implement all this information that people share and all this information that you're having. So I just want to encourage you as I bow out that you have to implement these things if you want to get results. Otherwise, you are just going to be watching this content from all of us creators and you are just not going to be moving from point A to point B. And if you know anything about me, I want you to move from point A to point B. I want you to come back to me and say, Mish, I watched that video and this is what I did. So if you're going to take action, I need you to let me know in the comment section. I need you to say I am taking action because I'm going to hold you accountable. And once you've taken that action, you are going to come back to this comment section and you're going to tell us what action you took and the wonderful results that you're now getting. So thank you once again for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. It is absolutely free. Don't forget to like this content if you especially watched it to this far and you love the um, nuggets and the stuff that I shared with you guys. Don't forget to love it. Don't forget to like it, share it with somebody whom you know is going to enjoy this kind of content and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.